Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'll show you how to use effects and also create adjustment layers in After Effects. Alright, let's get started. There are a couple different ways I can add an effect to my layer. First I want to make sure I have my layer selected, and then I can come up to my top menu here, and under Effect, I have a bunch of different effects in here. We've already covered color corrections in a previous tutorial, and those can also be found under the effects here. I also have a lot of different effects that you might not have because I have different plugins that I've installed on my version of After Effects. Some of the more common ones that you'll probably use are under Blur and Sharpen, and also under Distort. We have a whole bunch of different effects under here, and I'll just go through a few of them and give you some examples. Let's start by adding a Gaussian Blur to our layer. So if I go to Blur and Sharpen, I can just select it there. What that's going to do is create an effects control panel up beside our project panel here, and you can just click over to it. You can also expand the panel if it's too hard to get to. In the effects panel here, every effect that we add is going to show up here, so we'll be able to adjust them all right in this one panel. So right now our Gaussian blur is on our layer, but we have the blurriness to zero. So if I just click on that and scroll forward, I can add a blur to my layer. Now, just like with every other thing in After Effects, if it has that stopwatch beside it, I can also animate it. So I'm just going to click on the stopwatch, and I've added a keyframe to my Frankie layer. So if I just hit U, it's going to show my keyframe, and I have it set to blurriness. I can scroll backwards in time and set that to zero. And now when I hit play on my timeline, it's going to blur over time. If I go forward even more and bring that back down to zero, now it should blur and then unblur over time. So we can add effects like that and also animate them. We can have multiple effects on a layer. I'm just going to go back up to effect here. I'll try the lens effect. So now what that does is make our layer into a camera lens and we can adjust all the different options in here as well. So I can adjust the size of my lens and also the distortion of the lens. So this is nice if you want to give your layer a fisheye look, you can do that in here. We can also get to our effects through an effects panel. If I go to Window, and then go down to Effects and Presets. That's going to open all of my effects down here. To add it from here, I can either double click it, or I can click on it and drag it to the layer I want. So now that one shows up under my lens effect, and I can adjust my settings right here as well. So in this one, what I want to adjust is the split 1 and 2. And you'll see, if I start to slide that, it's splitting my page right here. So you can use this for a lot of different things. If I wanted, I can expand this over here. And I can bring that down to 0. And then over time, if I wanted to animate this, I'm just going to select both of those. And now I'll select my layer and just hit U to bring up my keyframes. So maybe after here, I'm going to animate my split to start on both of these. So now we have the blur on it, we have our lens effect, and we also have the split effect starting right here. You can hide an effect by going to your effects controls and just clicking the little FX logo right there. That's going to turn it off, and you can turn it back on in there as well. This is nice for previewing effects without deleting them. You can just turn them off and on in here. Alright, I'm just going to turn those off momentarily, and I'll show you a couple more examples. I have some text here that I'm going to turn on, and I'll add an effect to this. Let's try the bulge effect, which is also under distort. I'm just going to drag that over to my effects layer. And now I can go in here and start adjusting my options. So I have my bulge center option right here, and what that is is this little icon here. So everything is going to bulge from that point there. I want to move that up to my effects layer. And you can see it's already starting to distort the part of the E that's inside the circle. So I want the circle to cover the entire word. I can do that by adjusting my horizontal and vertical radiuses. I'm just going to slide that over until it covers everything. And then I'll slide the vertical one to cover everything at the top. Now with my bulge height, I can adjust how much of it is bulging out. If I have it at zero, I can animate that over time, just like with my other ones. I'll hit the stopwatch to set the keyframe. With my effects layer selected, I'm going to press U to bring up the keyframes. 
and I'll have it starting to bulge out over here. Now when I play it, it's going to animate that effect. Alright, let's try one more effect. I think I want to add a lens flare to my video behind here. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go up to Effect, Generate, and I'll generate a lens flare. So you see that added the lens flare right there on my Frankie layer. So now I can move this around and we can also animate this to move across. So I think I'll start it up in the corner here and then if I hit the stopwatch on my flare center I can start animating that across here. So with my layer selected I'm going to hit U to bring up my keyframes and I'll go down to lens flare and there's my keyframe right there. So I'm just going to move that keyframe back over here though and have it start closer to the beginning. Now as I move forward in time I'm going to just slide it over this way to that tree. So now when I play it, we get that lens flare moving across the sky. Right now when we add an effect, we're only adding it to a single layer. But what if we wanted to add an effect to our entire composition? We can do that by using an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer is an empty layer that we can put into our composition. Then we can add effects to that layer, and it's going to affect anything underneath our adjustment layer. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to turn a couple more layers on for an example, and I'll just collapse that layer. Next, what I want to do is go up to Layer, New, and select Adjustment Layer. What that did now was add an adjustment layer above my layers here. I can turn that off and on and nothing's going to change because that's just an empty layer that I can add effects to now. So with my adjustment layer selected, I'll go up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and let's add a blur to it. And now when I adjust the blurriness, it's going to adjust everything below that adjustment layer. I can also move my adjustment layer anywhere in my timeline and it's only going to affect what's underneath it. So now since this text is above it, it's not blurring that at all. It'll just blur what's below it. I'm just going to turn that off for now. We can also copy and paste effects from one layer to another. So if I go over to my Frankie layer, I want to copy my split effect. So with it selected, I'll go up to Edit, Copy, and now I'll click on my adjustment layer and hit Edit, Paste. Now that pasted the split onto my adjustment layer and it also pasted the keys on it, so it's already going to be animated. I'll just turn that on. Now if I scroll through it, that effect is affecting everything below it. Alright, I'm just going to delete both of these. You can delete an effect by just selecting them and hitting delete on your keyboard. We can also use adjustment layers for color correcting. So if I go up to effect, color correction, I can add any of these to my adjustment layer. So if we want to make everything black and white, I can just add that to it here. And you can also animate the transforms on adjustment layer just like you can with any other layer. So if I wanted to animate my opacity so I have it go from black and white to color over time, I can do that. So with it at 100%, I'll select my stopwatch to set my first key, and then I'm going to move forward in time, and I'll bring that down to zero. So now that's just fading out that adjustment layer that has the black and white color correction on it. So over time, it's going to switch from black and white and slowly fade into color. I'm going to turn that off for now. All right, I'll just add one more to give you another example. Let's go to color correction and maybe we'll add a photo filter now to give it an overall tint. Okay, with my photo filter on, I can adjust the density here. And I can also change the color of my filter. We can also do a custom color if I click at the bottom here for custom and then I can choose the color I want to tint. And since we already have our keys on our adjustment layer from when we were having it go from black and white to color, those keys are also going to affect our photo filter since it's on the overall layer. So if I play through it, it's not playing in real time right now since it has to load, but I'll just go back here. So it's going to go from that yellow tint and just go slowly back to normal over time. Alright, I'm not going to go through all of the other effects since there are so many of them, but feel free to experiment with the different effects and settings to see if there's something that works for you. Alright, that's going to do it for this tutorial on effects and adjustment layers in After Effects.